Hello and welcome to English with Jimmy. And today's subject is the verb say and the reported speech. Uh, say focuses on the word that the person says. Uh, it doesn't really focus on the object uh, or the person he's talking to, okay? Uh, so uh, we're interested of in the words, actual word that the subject is uttering or saying, okay? Uh, we use it in indirect speech or reported speech, and we use it to quote people. And uh, here we go. Uh, a structure for the basic sentence uh, with using say is subject plus say plus something. He says he is leaving. She says she was sick. Uh, she said uh, she was going to be late. Okay. She said hello. Uh, different examples, as you can see. I said I wasn't going swimming tonight. I am fed up with my job, he said. Uh, said he came at the end of the sentence. But as you can see, in all these examples, we have different tenses, okay? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we have uh, present continuous, we have past simple, and so on and so on. You can see different tenses, but we're using subject plus say plus something. There is no object included here, okay? If we are going to include an indirect object uh, uh, in uh, while we're using say, the sentence will be uh, subject plus say, I was said, okay? We'll add two, and then the indirect object, and then something. Direct and indirect object, to those who don't remember, we'll show you now the example we said before in another video. Anne gave James cookies. Anne gave James cookies. So Anne, the direct object is... Oh, uh, uh, are the cookies, okay? Direct object. And gave the cookies to whom? To James. So James is the indirect object. Remember the example so you don't, you don't get confused between direct object and indirect object, okay? Like he said to me something, okay? Me here are not, is not the object. Me here is the indirect object because he said the words first, okay? So the words are the object and then the indirect object will be me, okay? Now let's go back to our example, okay? He said to me, he is leaving, okay? She said, uh, good evening to me again, okay? You said something to me, all right? What did your, mo your mom say to you? So here we can see there's always indirect, indirect uh, um, uh, object included. Okay, uh, now we'll move on to another form when we use that. Yes, we can use that with uh, said or say, subject plus said plus that, something. Example, he said that he's leaving. You can say he said he's leaving, or you can say he said that he's leaving, okay? That here uh, is interested in the, uh, what he said, okay? And when we say he's, um, we have, a, I think we move on here, we, because that is just to, to um, introduce what the person is going to say. But if we are using to and that, as we can see here in this example, subject plus said plus to plus indirect object plus that plus something, you can see to introduces the indirect object while that introduces what actually is said, okay? So he said to me, to is for me, okay? And that he is leaving. That is for what he actually said. So subject he said to me indirect object, and then that there, as you can see, something whatever he said he is leaving. That's when we use to and that uh, with the verb say or say. Okay. Uh, using say as a, in, in given orders, uh, we say subject plus say plus something. I say he must leave. That's an order. The word must here, okay? Um, or I say he should leave, okay? Almost like an order. And he is leaving because I say so. I say so. These are all a form of using say to give orders, all right? 
here are some examples of how we use uh, uh, must and should uh, or commanding words with with say, okay? Subject plus says plus that, and then something that is going to be like an order. Let's have some examples there. My dad always says that I should study hard. We use should here, okay? Or I must study hard, we can use that, okay? So we here we have subject plus says, okay? And then that, and then some orders. Subject plus said plus order phrase. My dad said I must study hard. Again, must and should, okay? And uh, the tense, you can see here we're using says and here we're using said, all right? So one is present and one is uh, past, past simple, okay? Another one, um, uh, we're using subject plus said to plus indirect object plus that plus order phrase. It's an order phrase, okay? My dad said to me that I must study harder. Subject, my dad said to me, indirect object, uh, that, that, I must study hard. That's the older phrase, okay? Being given an order with must. It's again, another repeat. And then subject plus say plus order phrase. Again, I won't say it again. I won't say, I will not say it again, or I won't say it again, okay? Will you please get ready for uh, bars now, okay? Uh, for your bar. Um, here we have an order phrase, okay, and we're using say in the present, not said, okay? And here's the subject, the same structure. Uh, don't say, here's a notice, or just something to remember. Don't say, he said me hello. You need two here, as, as we said, okay? We need to add two. He said to me, or he said me his name. He told me his name. He, he, you don't say he said me his name, okay? We use tell here uh, instead of said. I want you to, stay, to say the truth. I want you to tell the truth. So with the truth, we use tell. Uh, she has never said a lie. With a lie, we use tell again. We, okay, she has never told a lie, not said a lie. I, I am going to say a story about Anne. No, you don't say, uh, say before a story. You say tell. I'm going to tell a story about Anne. And William said a bad joke. Okay, you don't say said a bad joke, you say, William uh, told a bad joke, okay? Uh, these are just common mistakes that sometimes happen when you mix, uh, you get confused between say and tell, okay? Here is a brief uh, listing of the uh, tenses with, uh, with, uh, with the verb say, a present, okay, in a present simple or, pa or past simple, I say, he says, and they and, uh, they and you and say. I said, okay, past simple, and he said, and we said. Moving to continuous, I am saying, uh, okay, he is saying, uh, they, are, uh, they are saying, and then in the past, I was saying, she was saying, okay, uh, we uh, were saying. For the perfect, I have said, and she has said, or uh, you and they, and uh, we and they, and you uh, have said. Uh, and in the past, I had said, uh, she had said, and we, they, and you had said. For the future, I will say, or I'll be saying, or, um, or yes, as we're saying, uh, will be saying, I will have said, or she, he or she will have said, and we and they and you will have said, again, will is for the future. Just let me correct the one. Okay. And here we have in the uh, future perfect continuous. Okay. For all of them will have been saying. All right. Um, hardly used, actually. But uh, always advisable if you are going to talk about the future. Uh, you don't say, I will have said. You say, I would have. Be polite, okay? Uh, would have is better, is more used than will have, if we're talking about the future to be a little bit more polite. Uh, some idioms, a couple of idioms actually, not a lot really, uh, with say, okay? Uh, wouldn't say boo to a goose, which means someone who's very shy. Uh, she is very shy uh, and wouldn't say boo to a goose, okay? 
uh, do as I say, uh, not as I do. Okay. So uh, when this is when someone words is uh, are inconsistent uh, with uh, uh, with his action, actually. Okay. A typical example of that: my doctor smokes and advise me not to. So it's true. You find that the doctor is a smoker and he's telling the patient, okay, don't smoke. Uh, okay, we'll move on quickly to expressions with says rather than idioms. Okay, say something. Or I was about to say. Okay, or nothing. I have nothing to say. Or uh, I want to say. Or uh, I need to say. Okay, something uh, important. Or I hate to say something you don't want to say, but you have to say it. Uh, okay, um, it's fair to say. Okay, uh, fair to say which, uh, that it's it's a good thing to say something. Okay, as you can see the examples in the sentence. Uh, I was going to say, or anything to say. Do you have anything to say? Uh, say no more. Okay, say no more. I know the rest of the story. Say no more. Okay. Uh, say a few words if you are in a reception or wedding reception or something like that, just come on we ask the best man to stand up and say, say a few words Okay. Uh, can't say for sure or can't say for certain you can say that as well That this is a very common expression actually very very common we use them in the language it's, it's good to know Okay. Uh, I might say I might say how can you say how can you say it's just asking someone to how can you say such terrible things uh, about your friend, okay? Uh, people say, people say, uh, dare say or don't say, okay? Allowed to say, allowed to say, if I'm allowed to say, or, or uh, um, begin, I'll begin by saying, okay? I ought to say, okay? And never say, never say never, like James Bond film. <laughs> Uh, uh, rather not say, I'd rather not say, that's been a little bit more polite, okay? All these expressions, guys, are very uh, useful, and they are used a lot in conversation in English, okay? So it's uh, well worth it to try and practice them with uh, sentences that you have seen here, okay? Um, that's all I, we've got to say about uh, say and in a reported speech. And... Uh, that's it. Okay. I uh, thank you guys. And girls as well. <laughs> Bye.